If you're a marketing company these days, you have to be engaged and very much involved in the social media marketing, the online marketing and otherwise. And I think our general view is that there's a mistake being made if you partition that area of expertise somewhere over there. If you're saying you're in marketing, you're in marketing and that's, that's just, that is marketing. You've got to be very clear about your objectives and what you're trying to do for that artist or project. You've got to put a little bit of groundwork in, in terms of researching how that uh, artist and, uh, and fan base kind of work, um, because you don't want to be trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. And so consequently, if you take, those, take that start point, choose, you can do relatively uh, simple things. There will always be a tool there to help you do that. Um, so don't worry about the barrage of options. I mean, PS play a role in that in many respects in terms of deciphering which are the best tools and which is the noise and to determine you know, the, the best fit for that particular need. So it doesn't matter whether it's mobile, Bluetooth integrations or augmented reality experiences at a live event or just simple but very effective uses of Twitter, the expansion of the uh, of YouTube and, and and those channels, you don't need to overcomplicate it if you you know. And I think that's the temptation. Artists, labels, managers, everybody thinks that they're supposed to be doing everything all at the same time, and it's clearly not possible. So just be quite clear and brave and and learn, you know, learn, research and, and measure what actually happened and did and didn't work. It's as, it's as good to know what didn't work as it is to be sort of satisfied with what did.